Okay. All right. Let me know. Why. So, on the FPGA board, we've used three of the different switches. The first two control the level of operation, and the other one controls a reset switch. So whenever you change the level, you first or you then have to change the reset switch, turn it off and on again, which will reset the image. The other output is a VGA port, which is displaying the image that you can see up on the screen. So up here, what we have is our original image, our decomposed image, and then a reconstructed block. In the decomposed image, it might be a little hard to tell since everything's together. But what you have are two horizontal stripes that show the high pass in the vertical direction. You have two vertical stripes down here which show a high pass in the horizontal direction. And then you have basically the four corners are lit up with values which show the diagonal high pass or high pass in horizontal followed by vertical. Then, if I change the level of decomposition, what you're going to see is this one image right here will be decomposed a second time. So I'll turn the FPGA board to a second level of decomposition, reset the image, and now everything else will look the same except for this one square is different now. And the reason it's a solid color is because there wasn't a lot of change in that smaller area. Meaning it's basically composed of all low frequency information now. And then if I do a third level of decomposition, you're now going to see only one dot representing the final image. 